Hey guys, what is going on? Matt Smith here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon White. In the last episode, we just got started. We got our starter Pokemon. We met Professor Juniper. We met our friends, Bianca and Sharon. Went through Route 1. Now we are in the Cumula Town going to meet Professor Juniper so that we can continue our adventure. And I just realized that in the last episode, we never uh, we never took a look at Oshawott. So let's take a look at Oshawott real quick. Um, he's a lax nature. Uh, so that means he is up on defenses and lower on special defense, which is fine as long as the special defense is not the one that's being affected. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, level seven, we learned the water gun because we, you know, killed that one lily pup um, in route one. But yeah, so we're in a cumula town, so we're gonna go ahead and go down to the Pokemon Center and talk to Professor Juniper. And the Pokemon Center in this game in this game we're really tall buildings so hi right, kevin there you are traveling with your pokemon is truly one of the joys of being a trainer please follow me i'd like to show you the most important place for a trainer to know the pokemon center obviously all right professor juniper uh this is the pokemon center do you feel better as soon as you step through the door okay let's start the tour and it's cool that the um uh, in the Pokemon Center, in this game, you uh, you buy what you need, like Pokeballs and stuff like that, and the Pokemon Center as well also has the mark, so that's cool. Alright, Bianca says, oh, wait for me. The Pokemon Center is a truly incredible place. Do you know why? Because your Pokemon can be healed, and that's, and what's more, it's absolutely free. A Pokemon is a trainer's, a Pokemon Center is a trainer's best friend. Here, Kevin, give it a try. Sure. And then I always speed this up, so I didn't need to do that. Or I might have need, needed to do that. Maybe I used the tackler too. Um, but yeah, we're restored back to full health. Thanks, Professor Juniper. Now, if we catch a bunch of Pokemon, we can go and use this PC. We know that. Obviously. Uh, it says someone's PC on the screen. Who is someone? Yeah, we'll... Um, I forgot who we meet later in the game, but you know, whenever we meet that person, it'll say that person's name. So we'll see. Yep, someone will meet someday. Thanks, Professor Juniper. Here is the Mart. Alright, now this is the Pokemon. This is the place to buy useful items and sell the ones you don't need anymore. This, uh, that gentleman over there will help you with a smile. So let's wrap this up. I've given you the basics of being a trainer. We're going to head back to November Town. One final thing, when you get to Striaton City, go and meet an inventor named Fennel. She's a friend of mine from long ago, and I'm sure she'll help you on your way. Best of luck, I hope that your journeys prove to be the adventure of a lifetime. Alright, nice. Ooh, what should I buy? Potions and Pokeballs are definitely important. Hmm, thank you. Oh, we can move now. <laughs> All right, so we don't really have money. I probably will be able to buy a couple of potions, but oh, okay, here we go. In in here in Pokemon White, the story starts right from the beginning, so let's go check it out. Actually, can I go back to the Pokemon Center first? Okay. Bianca's still in there. I can buy a couple of potions. All right, I don't need any of these mails. Thanks for not being in the way, Bianca. All right, let's buy since... Oh, we have $4,000, not only 1000 Okay. So let's go ahead and buy five potions. And we have Pokeballs already, so we should be good to go. There we go. All right, what's going on in the middle of the city? All right, Sharon... Ke Sharon says, come, Kevin, come here a sec. is Getsis. I'm here representing Team Plasma today, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? 
Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth to what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? <laughs> that guy says liberation with a question mark? That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. Everyone, I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokemon and the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. Get out of here, Plasma. We don't need you. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Who cares? Oh, look, it's N. Alright, here we go. Your Pokemon, just now, was saying. Huh? Slow down, you talk too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. Hell side. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is Kevin. We were asked to complete the Pokedex and we left just and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to come find many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that then. I'm a trainer too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? Well Kevin, is it? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. Whoa, 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 I don't remember this. Come on, and you gotta chill. What's your Pokemon? Purloin? Come on. Get him out of here. Level 7 though. Oh snap. Maybe we should have done some grinding. <laughs> oh, we got potions though. We're good. We're good. Oh, and we got Water Gun. I just realized. Alright, so if you're gonna lower my attack, I'll just use Water Gun, okay? She is faster though. Oh, well, actually, the Purloin is a he, so. Let's go ahead and use Water Gun. And, um. We have higher special attack as well, anyway, so. We're going to be using Water Gun almost exclusively on things that don't resist it. So. Alright, one more Water Gun and we're good. Alright, there we go. Level 8. Nice, halfway to evolving, I think. Never expected to... Oh, come on. It happened to me when I was playing Pokemon Heart Gold the other day. Just like, I was trying to read it and it just went by without me pressing anything. Alright, as long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never be, become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Okay, and... Huh, strange guy, but I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers some Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Strides and City. Aim to battle. Wait, what does that say? Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. All right, I'm gonna do that too. I don't know about Bianca, but let's go ahead and heal up. Bianca's not in the Mart anymore. Oh no, I just want to listen to the to the music again. Yeah, man, I, <laughs> I don't know why, like, I just, I just like listening to it. This is a lab or something? This is a pat trap losing his mind over here. We got a Pokeball, though. Oh, wait, huh? All right, let's play Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. Okay. Uh, water. All right, I won that one. All right, that's it? Okay. All right, so X transfuser is ringing, and who is it? It is mom. All right, it's your mom. How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I called. But I'm going to hang. 
up the transceiver because you're right behind us. Hello, Mama. Finally caught up with you. And look how far you've come already. Professor Junglooper said that you were probably headed to Stratton City by now. I have another present for you. Kevin, try these on. And we finally get our running shoes. So we should be good to go. Hold the B button. Yep. Thanks, Mom. We got another potion. Alright, this is a train over here. Alright, a trainer catches another trainer's eye. That is the start of a Pokemon battle. Is it really? You got a Patrat. Or Patrat, however you like to say it. Use a couple water guns. And we're good. And we are level 9. Nice. Alright, so this person is the one that talks about jumping over the ledges. Hey, I'm gonna do something amazing. Wanna watch? Wait one second. And he jumps over. Yeah. Obviously, we knew that already from years and years of playing Pokemon. Lillipop, let's just take it out real quick. You know, might as well use the experience since we're low. Just start the game off, so we can use the XP. And this is not a trainer. When your Pokemon don't have enough energy to fight, just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in its hard place. Yeah, but I gotta get through sometimes. Like, what the heck? Alright. I really love Pokemon battles. So do I. That's why you're gonna lose this one. We might level up here too. Just tackle once. Yep, level 10 already. Jeez, and we're running about route one only. So, we are already making strides. So we can't go up there, obviously. Alright, so the G's seems to be a bunch of lily pups and purloins. Maybe if it was in the morning, um, we would see... Actually, there's pet rats too, but where, where would Pitto be? Usually those are in the early routes, like the flying Pokemon. And I actually want to take this, um, take this pet rat out because it's level 5. And it would give us a decent amount of EXP. Alright, there's another trainer here. Alright, Lillipup. I, I, I think this guy has a Lillipup. <laughs> Alright. This Lillipup is going to go down. I don't think it's going to level us up, but... There we go. Almost level 11 already. What is over here? Item. Two items. Pokeball. And a potion. Nice. It's almost like I didn't really have to buy as many as I did, but... Whatever money I spent was already... Level 5 prevalent. Was already, like, made up by the trainers that I beat, so... 33. Almost level 11. Oh, hi, Kevin. Oh, no. She's going to battle us. Because I was going to go back into the route and get to level 11. But, uh, yeah, she's... <sighs> Come on. I was I was like, oh, look, the city's there. I'm going to go back and then get to level 11. No, of course not. I know that there's something we have to do before we actually do this Triton City gem. Because then you can get the, uh, you know, the, the monkeys. I just forgot exactly where to go but I'll figure it out when I'm while I'm here but yeah this lily pup oh wait so she caught a lily pup so we gotta take out this lily pup and her tag okay I see you Bianca I see you all right so we got water sport that's not a move but okay we're not really in danger of using this, so... Look, see, this isn't... It's not even a move. Fire's power was weakened. Actually, that helps a little bit. But it's not like... I, I think Bianca's smart enough to just use Tackle. Are you dead? Wow, O-Code. Get him out of here. Alright. 
You are one tough cookie, Kevin. I'm working hard on my training. My Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye See ya. Alright. So we are now in Stryton City. So I know there's a few things that we have to do before we can even do the gem. So something about the Muna and the Masharna. I forget. But we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. Thank you for healing up my Pokemon. Alright, let's go. Cause see, look, this is the gym right here. But I look for the gym leader, he's not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Oh, okay. Is this the school? Probably should have looked. No, oh, Sharon's here though. Is he gonna want to battle when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Okay. Have you come looking for the gym leader yet? He was just talking about Pokemon types just a few minutes ago. Maybe he walked past them, by the way. Of course, you're gonna wanna battle. So, actually, this might be difficult depending if a Snivy already knows a grass type move. But we'll just tackle it to death, level eight. Okay. Right. Let's see. All right, nice tackle. Please don't have Vine Whip or Razor Leaf or anything, please. Please. Oh no, you have a Citrus Berry already, Sharon? Are you serious? Orange Berry, whatever, dude. Okay, we're fine. Alright, I'm just gonna attack you again. Oh, let's go. Critical hits. Four days. Alright, but you do have a pearl line. Now I can just use water gun. I wonder if we get anything for catching at least one Pokemon with them. Because, like, don't use Vine Whip, please. What? I was about to say. Okay, so assist as a move is where you can use any move that, you know, is a part of your your entire team's, you know, arsenal. And it just so happened that he got Vine Whip from Snivy. So that was retarded. <laughs> All right, so we won. Thank God. All right, so learning to use items well is definitely important then. Okay, here, Kevin, I'll give these very safe. All right, yeah, because that was ridiculous. But I will give one to Oshawott. You definitely caught me off guard. Yeah, you can hold potions, but can't use them. It makes sense. But berries, they can go ahead and eat them once you hit that um, certain HP in battle. So I'll give that to Snivy. If I pressed use, it would have ate it and just healed the HP. But um, I'm going to go back to the Pokemon Center. All right. So I think that's it for this episode and the next episode. Um, we do have stuff to do. There's a gym leader there. Um, we might do that in the next episode, actually. So, you know, we were in the Cumulative Town. We learned a little bit about what might, you know, what might be about the story. We, we saw some, you know, other protagonists here. Or, um, I forgot what the, the word is when it's like the villain antagonists or whatever. But are they really the villains? I don't... It, you know, it's it's that that's what the story brings you. It's like okay, they want to do, they're trying to do something good for Pokemon, so you, they want you to think they're the good guys and all this stuff and whatever. It's it's a good story, but you know, we started our adventure, we bought, uh, we fought, you know, Bianca and Sharon again, um, and we're here in Stryton City. So in the next episode, I believe will be, um, we'll, we'll we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.